Welcome to How to Use a Parallel Gateway. The parallel gateway belongs to the family of gateways. There's many variations of this shape. Similar to its peers, it creates a fork in the road. The parallel gateway, however, is different that all the activities within the parallel gateway must be completed in order to advance. Let's take a look. The parallel gateway shape is both a start and end shape within a path. When you place your parallel gateway, all the tasks between the start and finish shape of the parallel gateway must be completed in order to advance. For example today, we've set up a scenario where a business analyst wants to share requirements with developers. However, before the requirements can go to the developers, we have to obtain sign-off from both our legal and operations teams. Let's take a look at our process map. As we can see, we have three swim lanes within our send requirement document for sign-off process. We have legal in the top, the business analyst in the middle, and operations in the bottom of our swim lanes. These three swim lanes indicate the stakeholders that are involved part of this process. Our start event is with the business analyst, and the first task is obtain sign-off. We can see our parallel gateway is the purple diamond with the cross in it. Following our parallel gateway after the obtain sign-off, we can see that it branches off into two swim lanes, one to legal for providing sign-off and the other for operations to provide sign-off and then those two paths connect again back to another parallel gateway shape. What this is telling us is that we have to obtain both sign-off from legal and operations before we can advance to the next shape. Although in our example here we do not have another task after the closing parallel gateway, however if we did, we could not advance to that task until both legal and operations provided that sign-off. In a nutshell, that's how you use a parallel gateway. All the tasks, decisions, or other shapes that would be contained within it must be completed before you advance. However, you may ask the question that, what happens if you're stuck in a parallel gateway? Well, there's another shape that's an end event called a terminate, which we'll review in another session, but that would be a way to exit out of a parallel gateway without satisfying all of the conditions. And we're done. That concludes this session. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.